Now, what about those bridge calls beginning with feed? You may recall we stated in the introduction that external entities are best used for call and return APIs. This turns out to be an inconvenient limitation when it comes to our GPS watch. The watch includes five buttons which need to trigger events inside the GPS watch model. We could sample these with a call and return interface, but then we might miss button presses. Instead, we use a modeling trick to send event instances to the Java external entity implementation. The GUI bridge class caches these event instances until a button is pressed. This is what the feed bridges are for. They are used to pass the pre-created events to the realized Java class. The GUI bridge Java realization class declares an inner class that listens for mouse clicks over the graphical watch buttons. When a button is pressed, the inner class calls the method fire on the appropriate cached event instance. This call delivers the pre-created event instance into the queue of the modeled class state machine for the UI class. The resulting transition passes a new event instance to the Java implementation for caching and sends a signal appropriate to the event to whichever component is wired to the UI port. In the GPS watch example model, this recipient component is tracking. 